Hey everyone, last year I brought up an issue I had with my Ender 3 V3 SE, the wobbly frame. I promised a video of the printer after adding a stabilizer bar. I'm ashamed that it's been a year now, the V3 SE and KE were both still new at the time. Here is what my V3 SE looks like right now, and you'll be able to find a link to the models I used in the description below the video. Anyways, I printed the parts for this gantry support uploaded to printables by Alexi H. And the right side can be mounted to the side in place of the LCD without drilling new holes into the 3D printer. The models he uploaded are designed for either M8 or M10 threaded rods. Me being in America, I had to find a 3 8 inch rod, which is slightly thicker than an M8. I then cut it down to 50 centimeters. The bottom piece mounts where the LCD panel is, so take that thing off. Then put on the top piece. You may need to get longer M3 bolts. And another common thing I see mentioned a lot, the frame is not squared up. And mine is not. But the stabilizer bar should be able to help correct that. So here is a page from the manual showing the 8 M3 mounting bolt locations. Now let's add the threaded rod and the 4 nuts, numbering them 1, 2, 3, 4. So first you're going to want to install the bottom mounting bolts, kind of snug but not tightened. Then get the two bolts that hold the Z-Rod bracket snug, enough to keep the frame aligned. Next, lightly adjust the top nuts, 1 and 2, to keep the rod in place. Then use nuts 3 and 4 to get the vertical frame squared up, and tighten those things. After that, you can go through and tighten the top nuts, and then tighten the six bottom mounting bolts. Now I've said before, I don't have an engineering degree, but ChatGPT thinks I should do it this way. After getting the printer running again, it started frequently throwing temperature errors and stopping mid-print. This was while I was trying to run tests to compare before and after adding the stabilizer. There are a few common answers people give online to troubleshoot this problem. It's either the thermistor needs replaced, clean the hot end sock, or, in my case, the hot end assembly cable clamp is too tight. After I took apart the hot end and tested everything and cleaned up everything, all I had to do was just not tighten this clamp so tightly. So after all that, does it print any better? It's been so long now, I don't really have definitive before and after results. But I can say, I feel it printing better at high speeds. I just, I believe it. I wanna believe it. It does feel a lot more solid, and this should help prevent the frame's movement damaging the thin aluminum profile rails where the M3 mounting bolts just tear through it so easy. Adding a second rod would be great, but I'm satisfied with this for now. One problem though is, since the printer's bottom frame is almost completely plastic, the rod mount does have a lot of play to it. But in conclusion, for under $200, this was an excellent cheap 3D printer for beginners. Just get rid of the spool on the top and add a stabilizer rod, or... The Bamboo Lab A1 Mini is also under $200 most of the time. 